Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this macrame wall hanging. If you're anything like me, you love macrame wall hangings, but you hate paying for them. So a fun alternative is obviously making them yourself, which is what I tend to do. I, it does take quite a while to tie them up, but it's a really fun, like relaxing process, especially if you're like sitting on the couch, um, watching TV and just like tying knots. It's almost like therapeutic to keep your hands busy so you don't feel like you're just sitting there doing nothing almost. So yeah, I made this for my bedroom because I had this big empty space here. Um, I wanted to do something that was uh, simple. I find a lot of the macrame wall hangings can be quite complex, um, which is also beautiful, but I wanted something uh, just more simple and like have the the sharp line geometric shape to it. So I picked this design. Um, I also chose this because it only has two types of knots and it's the easiest knots in macrame. So I thought it would, it would be super easy for you guys to do at home. Yeah, so we'll get right into it. Okay, so to start off, I got this dowel from Home Depot and then just stained it the color that I liked and then just threw on a string to hang it up. Very simple. Next I'm going to do the under layer, which is going to take up about a third of the space. And to do that, I'm going to take my cord. I bought this just off Amazon, I'll link it down below. And I'm going to measure out approximately how long I want it to be. Yeah, probably this long. And I'm going to double it. And then I'm going to take into account for the droop in the middle. So I'm gonna be very generous and generous and say about that long. Now with macrame tutorials where you're doing knots all along the whole um, wall hanging, you normally pick the length that you want and multiply it by four, but because we're not doing knots the whole way down, this is a very simple tutorial, um, your approximate length should be pretty accurate. So I'm gonna start with a Lark's head knot. You take a loop. You put it over the bar and then underneath the bar and then put your two strands through. Pull tight. So then the outside string should be your shortest string and you take the longer string and make that loop so that the bottom two ends are the same height. So we're going to make the same knot, but this one's a little more complicated because this string is attached here. So we're going to take that string and put it over top of the dowel. And then bring it around and back over itself. And then underneath the dowel and back over. and then through that loop. And there we go. So now we have that scoop and our two hanging pieces. Okay, now we're gonna add our strings going down here. To do this is fairly simple. Take your roll and uh, you measure out the longest that it would have to be and then double that and it should be hanging like that um, and just make enough to fill up that row. Now that I have all my cutoffs, I'll use the same Lark's head knot to add them onto this loop here. Okay, so to really define this line, I'm gonna do a half hitch knot along the whole thing. I'm actually going to start with this side because this side is longer and we're going to be connecting this way. So to do the half hitch knot, so you're going to take your line on the end and take the one beside it and tuck it behind and then put it over top making a loop and then put it underneath and through and then you just pull it tight until it makes this little loop here. And you do that twice for each new string you collect. So I'm gonna do it again. This string goes behind, over top, underneath, and through. 
and those two bumps there is your half inch knot. So then you take your original string and take the next one up in line, put it behind, over top, underneath and through. One more time, it's behind, over top, underneath and through. And I'm gonna continue to do that for this whole span. It's all done. As you can see here, I have this little nub. I'm like, what are you supposed to do with that? Well, I'm gonna tuck it behind and hide it and tie it back there. And there you go. That is the first layer. Okay, so this bottom layer is done. As you can see, there's a lot of variation with the length, but I'll cut it all flat up to about here uh, when it's all finished. So now that that's done, we'll move on to the top layer that kind of does that. <laughs> For this, I'm gonna do the same strategy I did for this bottom layer and measure out the length that I need with the roll. So we're going to be starting from the center, looping here, and then looping one more time. Okay, now that I have that length, I will multiply it by two to get it to go the whole length. Okay, so now that I have this all cut out, I am going to find the center of it and do a lark's knot in the middle. And then with one side, I'm going to do that same trick of making a lark's knot here. And so for this loop, I want it to be a little bit higher than the first loop, just like that. And it'll probably droop a little bit. And we're gonna make one more that's even higher. Just gives us something like that. And then I'll just do the same thing on the other side. Alright, so now I will start filling this loop here, doing the Lark's Knot, just like I did down here. So I'm gonna start cutting line for this one. And I should add that we're not gonna be starting from the very top, just cause then it'll cover all of this work we did here. We'll start probably around here. And I wanna measure it out. So if this is probably gonna be my shortest string, I'm going to measure it out that it's going to be a little bit higher than that. And then on this side, we're going to go all the way to the top. Okay, so I'm going to start adding these on with the lark knot again. Okay, so now I'm going to do the half hitch knot again all the way up here. Okay, so that was the last one, and now I will move on to doing the same thing on this run here. Um, yeah, same process. I'll run you through it real quick. I finished this side. I found that it looks best when I line the start of this one up with the curve of this line. Um, and I'll just do the same thing on the other side and then show you the finished product. Okay, so I finally finished the other half. Uh, if you couldn't tell, it's a little bit darker in here because the sun has gone down. Um, and from this point, I'm gonna start marking off the uh, different levels so I can cut them. I find using tape to mark it off just makes it easier so that you're ensuring that you're cutting a straight line. So by pulling this back, I can see the under layer. I'm gonna say this is roughly my lowest point. So I'm going to 
tape it off. Okay, so now I'm going to cut on that line. Okay, so got a nice straight line there. I'm gonna drop these down and then I'm going to lift up these outer ones like this. And so I'll work on these sections. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go about right here and I'll take that off. Now I'll cut this off, being sure not to cut the layer behind. And now I'm gonna drop down this last side and I'm gonna pick about here and cut that off and then I'll mirror it on the other side. Okay, and now I'll do the same thing on the other side and then I'm going to unwind all these strands to give it a, a looser look. And once I'm done, I'll give you a look at the final product. Okay, so to skip ahead, um, the wall hanging is finished and today is the next day <laughs> because unraveling all of these takes a long time and it's still worth it and like I said at the beginning it's still fun to do just relaxing while you're watching TV or whatever but it still took me like all evening so um, welcome to the next day and welcome to the finished product <laughs> um, so yeah once I finished unraveling them I just touched up the ends a little bit snipping them up and uh, another thing to know is I ended up lining up the start of this guy here with the under piece just thought it looked nicer easier on the eye and yeah that's it that's what I got for you today <laughs> um, yeah I really like how it turned out uh, it's exactly what I was looking for it's nice and simple um, and it has those like sharp geometric shape to it and I love the layering effect and I hope you guys found this helpful and that it was a nice easy alternative to those really complicated wall hangings. And yeah, thanks for coming by and hanging out and doing this little DIY project with me. Uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!